Oh, that's a fucking... Well, there's a couple things going on right now. One, I'm crying out of poignancy. Two, a fucking fly just flew in my eye. I apologize if there's a bunch of flies flying around. It's dusk here at San Francisco. The view is amazing. The view is making me cry. And uh, I'm making this fucking video, all right? The last time that I made this video, the first take was in Shanghai. And I originally recorded a video about abundance and scarcity. All I have from that is the B-roll. The A-roll does not exist, and that's because I deleted it by accident. So, I got bummed out at the beginning. I went into scarcity, which I'm gonna talk about, but now I'm feeling abundance, I'm feeling fuel, and I'm gonna remake that goddamn fucking video to the best of my ability, all right? This video is gonna talk about abundance and scarcity, define what they are, and allow you to see where you're at, but it's also, more importantly, gonna give you and reveal the dynamic behind the two. We're gonna talk about upward and downward spirals. We're gonna talk about momentum. And we're gonna talk about how something plays into every single moment of your life. And guess what? It existed before I was born, before you were born, before any of us were ever born, and it's gonna play out for the rest of eternity, all right? Fortunately, this video isn't gonna play out for the rest of eternity. I'm gonna make it short, sweet, and simple, and then get the fuck out of here because there are a ton of bugs, all right? But if you lock in with me right now, you're gonna enjoy, you're gonna get a lot out of this video. Thank you. For most of my life, I've come from a frame, a mindset that I had to win and the only way that I could do that was that somebody else loses out. My abundance comes from somebody else's scarcity, okay? That's a zero-sum game. In order to win, somebody else has to lose. A soccer game is a zero-sum game. Any sports is a zero-sum game. When somebody wins in sports, the other team does not. They lose, okay? But anywhere outside of sports, you have this weird phenomenon where in a collaborative mindset, in a collaboration, both parties can win. The Yankees and the Red Sox can both become better entities through their exchange of energy. You and me are exchanging energy right now. I'm winning and hopefully you are too, okay? Although it's taking me energy to create this, although I'm burning calories to make this video, all, although there are all these fucking flies, this is actually giving me more energy. This is putting me into greater abundance and that's the paradox of it all, is because by me giving, me expelling, okay? Me sacrificing or decreasing, decreasing at the surface level my energy, I'm actually gaining. The more I talk, the easier it gets to talk. It's not like the more I talk, the less easy it gets to talk, the more difficult. The more my blood flows, the more this mouthpiece starts to run its course and run around and run around like this, meow, 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 the easier it gets to fucking talk. The more my brain starts working, the easier it gets for that brain to start working. And guess what we do? We go into an upward spiral. The more that I give to you, the easier it is to give, okay? At the same time, okay, simultaneously, with the same dynamic, if I start to peel away and I start to give less and I start to retract and I start to take, the easier it gets to take and contract into this tiny, tiny little thing. And eventually that tiny thing is gonna come into a room, right? We're in this huge space right now. It's gonna come into a room and then a desk and then a little cardboard box and a coffin. No, I'm kidding, that got really grim. But on the opposite side, you can have scarcity where if I stop giving and I take from you, Right? I just take from you, and I take from him, and I take from him, and I'm asking for a penny here, and I'm stealing, and I'm cheating. Well, what is that going to draw upon me? The need to keep stealing and keep cheating, all right? Now, let me wind things back. We have collaboration, we have competition. Collaboration is a win-win, and I made a video about win-wins, okay? And how it changed my fucking life when I realized that somebody could be winning while I'm winning from them as well that both people could benefit from an exchange. I came from a household, I came from an area of the world where the culture was, you need to step up by putting somebody else down. That's not the case, okay? In true abundance, builds upon itself, it has momentum, and you can kind of dictate the course of your life and the spectrum of either abundance or scarcity based off of the initial push. It'll dictate how much abundance you'll be able to cultivate throughout your life or scarcity. Okay? That's not a joke or a lie. Nobody's trying to deceive you or piss you off. 
when people say the rich get richer and the poor get poor. That's not a lie. That is abundantly true. That is super fucking true. The rich get richer and the poor get poor. And here's why. Momentum. Momentum allows that thing, abundance or scarcity, to build upon itself. It's easier for me to keep making videos as long as I have momentum and momentum and I keep doing it. The more I make videos, the more I give to the camera, the more videos I shoot, the easier it fucking gets. If I didn't go to the top of a mountain in Costa Rica, do you think it would be easy to go to the top of a mountain in San Francisco to make this video? Hell fucking no. But I built upon myself. I built this habit, this task upon the last one. Okay, this was a lot more driving, this was a lot more time, and this was a lot more money than the time in Costa Rica. Now let's look at this moving forward. Look at me moving forward. If I went to Nepal and I wanted to make a video on top of Everest, hypothetically, okay, this, this is an analogy. Do you think it would be easier for me to make that video on top of Everest if I made this video here and the one in Costa Rica versus never having made a video in my entire life? If you say no, you're fucking stupid because it makes it so much easier to step on to the next step, that incremental ladder, that incremental step, building upon itself, building upon itself. Yes, I'm giving you energy right now. Yes, I'm giving you time. Yes, I'm not giving you money, but I've spent a lot of money to make this video, to make the videos that I made in the past, for all the camera gear, for the rental car, for the two assistants that I have. All that money, all that time to get fucking flown here, to stay in an Airbnb, all this stuff to make videos like this, okay? I'm giving a lot. What am I receiving monetarily? Nothing. Energy-wise, joy, okay? And that joy I can spend on bigger and badder endeavors. And through this channel, the cool thing about the medium that I'm expressing myself upon is that you can see the journey. You can see how I've evolved over time. You can see momentum playing out in my life third party through me bringing this camera everywhere. You can see the evolution of my videos, the creativity, the evolution of me physically, mentally, energetically, okay? You can see how I've taken bigger and badder extents to make bigger and badder videos for you. You can see that. You can see proof of what I'm talking about in my own art. Conversely, you can also see scarcity playing out. Now scarcity, yeah, I have places in my life where I'm scarce. You have places in your life where you're scarce. You have places in your life where you're abundant, okay? With scarcity, it also builds upon itself because it takes on the law of momentum. Now I made a video about vibration just before down yonder, right? And I talked about how when you're coming home from work and you come down into a trough, you're kind of exhausted, actually, you're super fucking exhausted. You don't want to really do anything productive. You don't want to do anything too active that takes too much physical energy because you're fucking exhausted. You just want to veg on the couch, watch some Netflix, and eat some chips, okay? So you do that, okay? Do you think those chips are setting you up for success for the next day? Do you think that sitting down on the couch is going to help you out the next day? Or do you think it's going to build upon the need to go sit down and eat some more chips? Does it fuel? If you want to take an extreme example, Heroin. The first time you do heroin, you go zero to negative one, okay? After the first time you do heroin, do you think it's easier or harder to do heroin one more time? You're fucking stupid if you think that it's harder. It is way easier, and I don't know personally, but from what I understand, from my understanding of the law of abundance, from the understanding of momentum, it is much easier to keep going down, keep going down, keep going down the rails. Now, a more relatable version for regular people is that you're eating shitty food to cope with not feeling good. That shitty food, the next day, is gonna turn into feeling even worse. And feeling even worse turns into eating more shitty food or more drastic. And you can see how it's a downward spiral, a downward spiral of scarcity. Conversely, Okay, an upward spiral momentum is, yeah, okay, you don't feel that good coming home from work. But even though you think it would be fucking amazing to taste some ice cream, to watch the next Doctor Who episode, to masturbate, to do whatever it might be that makes you feel good in that moment, you set that aside, you do some yoga, 
you meditate, you make a green smoothie, and you go to bed early. You get enough sleep. It doesn't feel good in the short term, but in the long term, sustainable term, like a wave rather than just ripples in the water, that long term daily incremental progress will give you the fruits of life. Because you had that green smoothie from the night before, you wake up energized, you wake up not craving, just having that carb, sugar, fucking iron fist gripping you by the throat and the stomach all at the same time, I need some sugar. You don't have that craving. You don't need to eat that Snickers, okay? And you go throughout your day and because you don't need that, you can choose to have a salad or a Caesar salad and you choose to eat healthy and you choose to make proactive decisions, okay? That's going to put you into abundance. So that initial just one choice of you chose to eat a green smoothie and then the next day it made it easier to meditate and then the next day it made it easier to keep meditating and then do some yoga and then keep eating clean and keep eating clean. Think about the trajectory of that. Just one decision. One decision. And I might as well just make the proactive choice because I'm going to be sitting here today anyway. Do I want to feel good? Or do I want to feel really good? Abundance. The way that bodybuilders build up their body so much, okay, is not in the short term. It's day in, day out, incremental progress. Daily little smidgens, 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 smidgens. You build a little bit more, you build a little bit more. They're not looking for the short term, right? They're, they've got the momentum of building that muscle and they got momentum from the day before, okay? I went to the gym yesterday. I worked chest, all right? I worked chest, I'm feeling good. I have more energy from that workout and now I have the momentum mentally and physically. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go work out back today. And then I work out shoulders and I was like, oh yeah, I'm on a three day streak. I'm not gonna break that streak. I got legs to do. Oh, it's a four day streak. I got shoulders to do. Might have done that already, but you get the point. All right, I want a fifth, five, six, seven day streak. And you keep building, 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 upward momentum, long, sustained, long term progress, long term success, rather than just the do, 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 fiddling around in the moment to moment, feel good, feel bad. What actually are you here on this earth for? What is your fucking purpose? What are you doing? Okay? Are you satiating little cravings, little emotions? Are you jacking off when you feel horny? Are you eating Cheetos when you feel hungry? What are you doing? Do you actually want to achieve these goals and enjoy life? Or do you just want to like fucking tread water the entire time with your head like, Ugh! I'm going to pull a lot of shit together. Everything that you do in your life is a skill. Whether it be expressing your love for somebody, whether it be the skill of being appreciative for somebody, whether it be the skill of cultivating peace, whether it be the skill of driving, whether it be the skill of making a video, whether it be the skill of expanding out of your comfort zone, whether it be the skill of playing guitar, whether it be the skill of playing basketball, whether it be the skill of turning on a light, everything is a skill. And all skills, mark my words, all skills take on the law of momentum as it relates to abundance and scarcity. Okay, if I play guitar for five days straight, it's gonna be really fucking easy to play guitar that sixth day. On the flip side, if I don't play guitar for one day, if I don't play guitar for another day, it gets a bit easier. If I don't play guitar that third day, it gets easier. On the fourth day, I'm like, well, I didn't play the past three days. I'll just, I'll wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a lot easier to play guitar. I'm totally fine now. Uh, I've already wasted three days. A fourth day isn't gonna hurt that much. The fifth day comes around, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like four days, four to five, not that big of a deal. Five to six, not that big of a deal. Seven to eight, yeah, I'm not even like losing that much now. You know what, I'll start next week, all right? No, 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 I'll start in like two weeks, all right? It's been two weeks, what's a third week gonna do, right? All of a sudden, you go your entire life without doing that thing that you wanted to do, which you find meaningful. And that's a bit of procrastination happening. Procrastination builds momentum. Procrastination takes on the laws of abundance and scarcity. If you have an abundance of procrastination in your life, Okay, whether it be homework, whether it be a crucial conversation with somebody, whether it be going to the gym, if you're procrastinating, it gets much and much and much and more and more easy to keep procrastinating on that one thing. Okay? And I'm not saying that you need to turn your life around because of abundance or anything, but understand the dynamic that once you go from zero to one, you are creating that momentum. And understanding that it builds upon itself is the key fucking point. That's where you're gonna be able to lead a life of high fidelity, making decisions that are truly meaningful to you, where you're putting in work towards things that you find worth pursuing. I have downward spirals myself. I was eating peanut butter 
every single fucking day in Costa Rica. It's not good to eat an excess of peanut butter. I understood that. And I didn't want it to be that way. And I went down and I kept eating more and more and more. We are all subject to this. We all have places of abundance. We all have places of scarcity. I'm not saying which one you should pick, okay? Maybe your health is not something that's important to you. In that case, you choose scarcity for your health. You choose the fucking Snickers bar, okay? It doesn't matter. The whole idea of momentum and abundance, okay? Abundance is just this semantic thing that we put on good, and scarcity is bad. If you have an abundance of evil and anger, okay? But to you, evil and anger are awesome and they're furthering your life, well then, that's actually kind of an abundance. Right, that's a good thing, and you would choose more of that. It doesn't matter to me what you choose. It matters to you what you choose. Just understand that the law of abundance and scarcity build upon themselves, and that you have the power to take great action over time. I mean, just fucking like ridiculous. If you just make those incremental steps, if you commit to daily incremental progress, and not succumb to momentary pleasures, all right? And this is what I'm gonna wrap on. If you wanna see abundance and scarcity play out real time, think about my first video and think about where I am right now. Do you think I would be here right now making this video overlooking San Francisco if I had never made that first YouTube video? My name is Evan and today is a beautiful morning. I thought it'd be a perfect time to do my first vlog. And do you think that if I did make that first YouTube video, that all of a sudden I'd be able to come here and make this type of video? Do you think that it took daily incremental or semi-daily incremental progress to get here? I love you. I thank you. I want you to win. I want you to conquer your fucking dreams and I also want you to understand how the fuck to do that, how momentum works, and that your dreams are not going to be crushed tomorrow. I mean, I, I'm not God. If I had a crystal ball, I'd be doing a lot more, but they're probably not. We're all human, I'm human, you're human. We're going through this human experience together. I'm sharing what I know, and I want you to share what you know with the world. What I know is that momentum is playing out in every single moment of my life, whether it be my ability to not wipe away flies from my forehead, to my ability to make dope videos, to my ability to love, to have peace, to have anger, to have hatred. Okay, I have a scarcity of hatred now, so somebody might say I'm missing out because hatred is dope. Another person might be like, good shit because hatred sucks. It's all up to you. You live the life that you believe and you deserve that you should live. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. I'm gonna tell you about the laws of the universe and if you understand them, you can have better dictation over where the fuck you're going and how the fuck you're getting there, all right? I love you dearly and that's an ability that I've cultivated day in, day out through meditation. More on that later. I love you. Go into abundance of good shit. Go into a scarcity of bad shit. Thank you. Peace.